Many people wonder what semi-rapid expansion is. Most dentists, orthodontists and indeed patients are aware of expansion appliances which are essentially used to widen the upper jaw. The only difference between these appliances is really in the speed with which they do so. Um, back in the um, turn of the 18th to 1900s, then um, most of the expansion was done at a very slow rate of about a quarter to one third of a millimeter a week. This is done by using the key in the little screw which controls the two halves and you turn this at intervals. If you want to turn slowly, it's usually done about one quarter of a turn, either once or twice a week. If you want to use a more rapid rate, such as was recommended by many people going back as far as 1912, um, I think some of the first records are, then you should open it much more rapidly and the recommended rate is sometimes three or four millimeters a week. This can be the source of considerable discomfort, even pain, and the appliances need to be very firmly fixed to the teeth or they will bounce out when you try and open them at that speed. Um, there has been research to show that this is certainly effective at widening your top jaw, possibly more permanently, but that it also has quite marked disadvantages in damage to not just the teeth, but in particular to the roots um, where they are covered in a cementum, which is as it is called, um, to bond it to the bone. There is also damage to the bone and you can get quite large areas of bone killed. It's called a necrosis. You can also have damage to the tip of the root, which can be shortened. So there are some severe contraindications to rapid expansion. However, it is used because many orthodontists feel it's the only way they can be sure of getting a wide expansion of the upper jaw. Back in the 1960s, I did a lot of research on this particular issue and there is much written about ideal rates of movement within tissue. And it is quite clear that the tissues, and I'm including the tissues of most of the body, um, can move up to one millimeter a week, um, compensating by natural growth. If um, the tissues are moved at a much faster rate, the actual capillaries within the body cannot grow quick enough and therefore the area within um, the expansion becomes denuded of oxygen and blood. And in that case, it will just form scar tissue. This is what happens if you expand the upper jaw very quickly. Scar tissue is formed between the two halves and this will take many months, six months or more, to be replaced with normal bone. And during that period, it's particularly susceptible to relapse. However, semi-rapid expansion, as we call it, the rate between the slow and the fast, is designated at being at one millimeter per week. This speed enables the capillaries to grow so that as the two halves of the bone are separated, the capillaries grow into the middle and you can have normal bone formed. This is a huge advantage because of course when at the end of the period um, the uh, expansion is fairly stable because there is bone there. In fact, research has shown that the widening between the two halves of the maxilla is usually permanent once the bone has grown. However, any relapse tends to be caused by the relapse of the teeth. They just tilt inwards so that it may look 
as though very little widening has occurred, although in reality the bone itself is wider. It's quite complicated to understand, but I think you should be aware that the semi-rapid rate is far preferable to either the slow rate, which does not really encourage the growth of the bone at all, except in very young children, and the fast rate, which encourages the growth um, of the bone, but damages the teeth. And there is a period of six months or so before the bone grows into the intervening space.